Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to do exploratory data analysis using Sweetways library in Python. So first of all, let us understand what is exploratory data analysis. It is a first step in data analysis which was, which was developed by John Tucky in 1970. In statistics, exploratory data analysis is an approach to analyze data sets to summarize their main characteristics often with visual matters. By the name itself, we can know that it is a step in which we explore the data set. In exploratory data analysis, we have many plots, heat maps, frequency distributions, graphs, correlation metrics, along with the hypothesis by which an individual can understand what data is all about and what insights will get by exploring the data set. There is a saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. For data scientists, it can be modified as a plot is worth a thousand rows. Now, to do exploratory data analysis, we will be installing Sweetways library. It's an open source Python library that generates beautiful high density visualizations to kickstart exploratory data analysis with just two lines of course. Output is fully contained in HTML application. The system is built around quickly visualizing target values and comparing the data sets. So first of all, we will have to install SweetWiz on our system. How we can do this? We will have to go in command prompt and we will have to write down here pip install SweetWiz. Once the installation is over, then we will go into our file. Now we will activate the pandas library by import pandas as pd. Then I'll bring the titanic data set by the command line titanic is equal to pd dot read underscore csv. We are using r so that our import of data file is easy. I'll specify the path in single inverted comma then I will import Sweetways library and I will give it a name as SV. Basically, we are using a sort form. Then I will be generating a Titanic report, SV.analyze Titanic. Ta then the report will be generated in HTML file. And you can see here, when I will run this command, it will generate this type of charts. You will get passenger class, survived, name, gender, age. When you will hover your mouse on each and every variable, on right hand side, it will give you the full screen graph, ticket, fare. Moreover, when I will click on associations, so on right hand side, you can see the associations also between the variables. You can see the association between the variables. The values which it gives is, say for example, if I talk about passenger class, it is a categorical data. It will, it will give me the information that there is one missing value and three distinct values. In survived, one missing is there and two distinct values there. That is survived, not survived, yes or no. Name. They are all unique and therefore distinct is 1307. Now, if I talk about continuous variable, it will give me the information. First quartile Q1, second quartile, third quartile, 95% and 5% values maximum and minimum. Now, let us go back on the uh, notebook. I'll close this. Now, if I want to compare two different data sets, that is for training and testing of Titan. So these are two different data sets, train and test. All these data sets are very easily available on Kaggle. Just you have to write down Titanic data set. You register yourself and you'll be able to download this training and testing data set of uh, Titan. Now I'm creating two different data frames, train and test. So I'll run it. Now we knew that passenger ID and name, they are all 
unique names and we don't require to do the analysis of this and therefore we want to drop this from our analysis and i'll force that ticket and passenger class is a category please give that treatment of category so the command line is features is equal to sv sv is for sweet wheels dot feature configuration skip passenger id and name force underscore category give the treatment of category to ticket and passenger class i'll run this now i will run my report sv dot compare compare train and testing so i'll write down here train and give the name as train take the data set test give the name as test and the target variable is survived and only consider the features features means this features i have dropped passenger id and name from the data set and therefore it will not generate in the output now Again, the same thing is repeated, my underscore report dot so HTML. Now, when I will run this, it will give me the information that two, two variables have been skipped. Okay. So, it gives me training and testing, comparison, how many rows are there in training and testing, how many duplicates are there. Features are there, how many categorical variables are there, numerical and text. So survived, then, so it, it specifies that this is your target variable. Then passenger class, the treatment has been given. Uh, the treatment of category has been given. Gender, age, siblings, parts, ticket. Moreover, the association of the training data set will be completely different from testing data set. So you can get different association for training and testing data sets. Now, if I want to see the comparison according to the categorical variable, again, I'll switch this off and I'll come here. Now I want to do the comparison according to the male and female, the intra comparison I want to do. So here I'm specifying my underscore report sv.compare underscore intra train train sex is, is is equal to equal to female basically this is an assignment operator and therefore we are using two times equal to the name which is to be given the title which is to be given to do two different data is male and female this is the title which i'm giving the target variable is survived and please work on only features which have been extracted according to this we are dropping passenger ID and name from our data frame. And now I will run this. So now you can see male and female, how many rows are there? There, uh, the values which are there in male, the values which are there in female. So it will, it is indicated blue color is for male and red color, uh, orange color is for female. So I'll get now the output splitted into the categories. Moreover, associations also will be different. You can see different associations that what is the relationship of one variable of another with another in case of male. And when I will click here, it will, it will give me about female. Okay. So this is an exploratory data analysis using SweetWiz packages. For more videos on data science using Python, kindly refer to my playlist. I've already uploaded many videos which are related to data science using Python. Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the like button. So you can subscribe my channel.